Розмови перестали бути корисними Слова солодкі стали фразами кислими Кінець такий сумний і мовчозний Такий же безумовний, як і захід сонячний Скажи, де ті моменти, що ставали зловіщими Чому всі суперечки щоразу сильнішали? Чому ні звідки взялись ці чому? Питати ні в кого і відповісти нікому Як би ж це точно був уже останній раз Але і в цьому ми не можемо бути впевнені Знати б завжди Hey YouTube, this is Uncle Momo's music reaction channel where I provide my views on talented artists who have low subscribers and low views as well as talented artists from around the world. Now once again, I have no idea or the reason why they have low subscribers or low views but I'm going to bring it to the forefront of my channel for us to view. Now today I'm doing my best to upload about six reactions and I will let you know on these particular artists as I'm going along. So my fourth reaction of today is going to be, and I believe is Bulgarian. Let me know about this, please, because I don't want to get things mixed up. Um, his name is Mazepla. Um, this particular song is called Explain, and this is a studio performance. So he's in the studio and he's got his guitar and his friends playing the guitar as well. And that's all about I saw. Um, a very, very interesting. Um, I saw about say three seconds of it, and that's all I know. So that's going to be my next reaction, Mazepla, and the track is called um, explain but before that if this is your first time coming over to my channel then please go over to my homepage and work your way from the top all the way up to the bottom or all the way down to the bottom and i promise you that you will not be disappointed it's breaking down into various categories so you've got hip-hop you've got r&b you've got indie you've got rock you've got country you've got folk you've got jazz you've got south american vibe you've got da international dance you've got edm and um, you've got various um, categories and remember once you go into those various categories is music from around the world and established and non-established artists mixed up into the bunch and i promise you you will have an amazing time if you utilize my channel to the fullest now i would love you to follow me on instagram and when you do please leave me a voice message that's uncle momo's music reaction channel and we can have a good fun time on instagram now i'm going to read a couple of your comments and then go straight into my fourth uh, reaction of today so we'll just go into it and see who we have got you know what i must i have to say musa musa and a scott kamara you have guys have been absolutely amazing being fighting to be the first person to view my um my chat my reactions and making a statement about that as well andy russman good morning he goes um agnan oh right you're speaking in your language i have to go through google translate um to translate that as well um so i and i, and I will do um, it's not a problem to do so um actually so just like to say thank you very much um, for that. Um, Rexy Makin, good morning, how you doing? Um, Wayne, how you doing? Patrick, how you doing? And um, I've said Andy, haven't I? Um, Cartel said, discovered um, Kaza a month ago. Um, that's to, referring to Kaza's latest track and that's called Mint. So please check that out. Um, Snowdog, there's not a live video of this available on YouTube, but it was performed at the 20, so at 2.14.20 show and was pure rock power, a total different monster live. And that's regarding Bandmaid uh, with the Dragon Christ. Thank you very much for that um, and for your message as well. Um, Tom Clark, that was Dragon, a potent commentary of the um, crappy current state of the world. And it is a great um, purge into the blessed rock style given to us by Hendrix and the others um, heard live and without the overlay compressed mix the song jumps from a soul of the members and onto and into our minds as a warning so thank you very much for um, for your version and your insight of what is uh, um, Bam May's intake of the Dragon Cries look let's go straight into my fourth reactions um, so that is so I'm going to try to get the name right um, is Maz I'm gonna go straight to Google because they're saying it. They're saying it the way I want to say it. So it's Mazepa Popoyens here. That's the track and the name and the actual track. So that's uh, Mazepa, and the English version translated is Explain. So without further ado, you know what we're here for. Great vocabs and a damn good video audio music. Can you dig it? Boy, I <clears throat> Boy, I 
ясни, чому все сталося максимально немислимо. Невже так хтось це придумав навмисно нам? Невже по різних підем стежках? Навіть якщо буде боліти, так шанує вона. Розмови перестали бути корисними, слова солодкі стали фразами кислими. Кінець такий сумний і мовчазний, такий же безумовний, як і захід сонячний. Скажи, де ті моменти, що ставали зловіщими? Чому всі суперечки щоразу сильнішали? Чому ні звідки взялись ці чому? Питати ні в кого і відповісти нікому. Якби ж це точно був уже останній раз, але і в цьому ми не можемо бути впевнені. Знати б за що присудили нас. Мене тобі, а тебе мені. Don't wake my brother up, quit waking up my chihuahua. He's really exhausted now, he lost his power Don't wake my predator up, quit waking up my chihuahua He's really exhausted now, he lost his power Чому все сталося максимально неправильно? Де наше ми куди втікає від нас воно? Боюсь, що я за ним не поженусь, бо як піду, то не повернусь. Знаєш, я не хочу знову поринати в ці пристрасті, не хочу знову віддалятися від близькості. Ти змушуєш, але не хочу я лети водою на полум'я. Don't wake my predator up, quit waking up my chihuahua He's really exhausted now, he lost his power Don't wake my predator up, quit waking up my chihuahua He's really exhausted now, he lost his power So that was Andrew Mazepla, and I believe he goes by the name of Mazepla. I don't know much about him. I've looked in his um, YouTube channel, and it's got Ukraine. I've gone and translated the um, the, the language, and it says translated from, Bulga from Bulgaria. So there's my confusement. Please let me know about that. Um, just on the location, nothing to do with his amazing talent, uh, which I will speak about more in a little bit. But I'm just going to um, read a couple of things what's on his YouTube channel. Um, it goes, the owner of the legendary surname is singer, sound producer and musician Andre Mazepla, a man of uh, many talents, an experienced sound director, a ranger of um, Bloom Twins, co-author of Hip Hop Project, the Z founder, um, of the rap festival, curator of the creative laboratory um, at the institute, um, Gilia, um, until the age of 30, Andrew tried the music industry um, to chase. 
in all its possible incarnations and finally matured to his own um, to launch his own solo project at the beginning of 2020 um he said i had an ir irresistible desire to make a project in which i would be an artist and a producer at the same time i used to work in those roles separately but now it's time to present my music in a complex form so that's what he says there's many more inf um, information um about him he only has um 385 subscribers and two videos um, on his uh, on his um, YouTube channel, and I think that he is an absolutely amazing. I'm gonna write, just t type in a little bit more about it and see what comes up. And um, that one exceeded the the, the, the way how uh, well, that just exceeds. I don't know why that exceeded. Um, I'll try that again. Um, but yeah, I'm just intrigued of finding out how comes. Um, is he one of these artists once again that um, is well known? but just not known on the internet. And I know, thank you very much, Maria Batch, who um, done that for another question of a particular artist who I had the pleasure of reacting yesterday, yesterday to. But like I said, there is an abundance of amazing artists out there, um, especially in Ukraine, that are just waving a flag but not getting any recognition. Is it because Ukraine is such a big country and, you know, the, it's, it's ruthless just to trying to get to the top? Um, or, or let me know. Um, because... This particular artist, yes, he, he is a, uh, he's always been in the music industry and like I said from 2020, what, 2020, um, he's taken the balls by the horn and saying, look, let me go at it myself. Let me show the world what I can personally do rather than in the aid of helping anybody else. So I like that. Um, there's some lyrics on, the, on here, um, that I did check out. We'll see if it's got, it, it wasn't there before. I'm going to check it out now. Um, so I can have a, I know it, I'm talking at the beginning part. I'm not too sure if he's done a repetitive thing where he's sang in his native language. Um, I don't know if that was Ukrainian or Bulgarian. So let me know about that one. And then he tr cross changed it um, and fused it with English. Um, so I just want to know if it was, um, something that he repetitively um, recorded, you know, like some people say that they sing in um, in their native language first, and the second part of it they sing um, in it, it. They sing in English. So I believe this is the the translations. Um, so let me see what it says. Um, verse one, explain why everything happens as unthinkable um, as possible. Did someone come up with this on purpose for us? Really on various, we will follow paths, even if it hurts so much. Well, this now. Conversations have no longer useful sweet words, have become our sour face. Um, the end is so sad and silent, as unconditional as the sunset. And um, tell me where are the moments that became sinister? Why, all, why did all the controversy get stronger every time? Why did this come from nowhere? Ask no one and answer no one. So I didn't hear that in, in spoken in English. So, there, so it wasn't a translation of it. Um, so it just goes to you see how, how his mindset is. His penmanship is certainly there. Um, I love his cool relaxation and a sort of like a reggaeton vibe that he was having uh, with the guitar. Um, also, I like the way how his friend incorporated and, and added a, 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 a essence of ingredients um, to that when he's playing on his, I don't know what the guitar's called, maybe it's a, a honky-tonk honky guitar kind of thing. It sounded looked like from a guitar from like Mississippi or some sort. Um, but he played that, Something like that he was playing in there that had a lovely essence to what he was playing, what um Andrew was playing in there as well. Um I love like I said, I love the reggaeton vibe that he was playing on there. He did give me a sense of giving his form of um the sound in what he's singing on is that um the young kind of Rod Stewart kind of vibe when it was Stewart was passing or Rod a combination of what Rod Stewart was by Brian and um and um police. What's his name from police? Oh my gosh, how can I forget his name? Um, Sting. So it's a combination of what Sting was doing and what Rod Stewart was doing, um, but a sort of a lighter, not a stronger version, but a very, very lighter um, string and a Sting and a lighter Rod Stewart. Um, that husky thing, but also that kind of reggaeton vibe in there. I liked it overall. A really nice performance. Anyway, 
For now, I'm intrigued to see what you're going to, how your next performance is going to be. What way are you going to do? Are you going to do another level performance? Are you going to add, um, is it going to be sort of a, a ballad with acoustic vibe with it? Or are you going to add more flavor to it and show me um, more of it? Being that you are a producer, so you're saying, so this was just you playing the guitar. So let me see what you can produce and add the flavor to your vocals to that. But for now, I salute you. Lovely track. Now 